Financial precarity seems to be a never-ending and worsening state. Recently, the pound hit its worst low in 37 years, while inflation has skyrocketed. You say that sovereign nation states needing to borrow their own printed money is a myth. You even say that the word deficit is misleading. What do you mean here? And could an economic left government support its citizens financially in a way that doesn't look possible under our current, current government? That's a very big question. <coughs> You'd have to read the final, ch final chapter of a book to, to get the details, but very, brief, <laughs> very, very briefly. Um, the idea that inflation is being caused by printing money is nonsense. There's a recent hike in inflation being caused by supply side problems. Inflation is mm. always caused by su supply side problems, price rises. The deficit is simply the amount of money in circulation that hasn't been taxed back. So why call that a deficit? It's just the money that, that, that the government has put into circulation through private bank loans and, and, and through public spending, mainly private bank loans these, these mm -hmm. days. So if the money in circulation is there to spend on the goods that are being uh, supplied, then you won't get too much inflation. The problem is printing too much money when the, those goods are going down mm -hmm. and, and the prices are going up is inflationary. So to blame money printing on, in fact, money printing is a reaction to inflation, is a reaction to supply side problems. Mm. So the government can invest publicly to the extent that it increases productivity and increases the supply of goods. If you increase the supply of goods, then you can have more money in circulation to buy them. Basic, it's you know, mm. common sense. Yeah, this is common sense Keynesian economics. So it, they, they, they get inflation completely wrong. We could have conquered stagflation quite easily by subsidizing companies who were using oil in the 1970s. Mm, but right. it's against neoliberal doctrine. It's against mm. neoliberal do dogma, you see. So they misinform everyone about economics. And unfortunately, the Labour Party, especially under people like McDonald and R Rachel Reeves, who's in charge of the you know, chancellery, uh, then we're, we're not going to, the Labour Party's not going to get us out of this mess until it, 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 it improves its understanding of basic economics.